Xreal has just released an exciting new update between the Xreal Eye and the Beam Pro. It uses the camera feed to go into apps like Google Lens, ChatGBT. This will show us a glimpse into what our AR future might look like. I'll also be controlling the entire experience with the Wow Mouse Pro, allowing me to interact with the UI hands-free. I'll be showing all that and more in three, two, one. Starting off, we're in a Chinese grocery store, and we're trying to identify what these products are, just solely looking at the label. So, using Google Lens and the glasses, I'm able to pick these products up and get a information overlay, you know, translating directly to me uh, what these products are. So, I think this is a genuine, you know, useful use case where you're looking at unfamiliar languages and you're able to identify what things are just using your glasses. Next we're in my yard and we're trying to identify the plants using picture this. So here you can see I'm able to see it's a mandarin orange tree on the first one. I'm going to go ahead and scan another plant to identify it. This is just you know, so cool to be able to just go out in nature and be able to look at plants, take pictures, all within your glasses, and identify what they are. Um, so now we can see this is an avocado tree. Super neat way to look at plants and identify what they are. You might be wondering, Wesops, how do you get such good stable footage within the glasses? Well, I'm glad you asked. I designed and 3D printed my own GoPro mount. It holds the GoPro right up to the lens and just makes it a way better experience trying to record footage within these glasses. I've tried before just trying to hold up a camera to the lens and it just never quite works the same as you would hope. It just attaches right onto the frame on top, making it super easy to record footage. So if you're interested in that design file, I'll be uploading it to Maker World, and you can check it out down there. It's not perfect, but it definitely works. What am I looking at? Well, I see a pretty cozy setup here. It looks like you're in a room with a table that's got some tools or equipment on it. And over in the corner, I see a cat just hanging out by a box. So it seems like you've got a little uh, feline supervisor in the room with you. We're back with Google Lens. So we're going to go ahead and open the app up. And using Google, the traditional Google Lens feature of being able to look at different art pieces and identifying what they are. So, you know, you walk into a room and you see some art that you're interested in knowing more about able to just you look at it with your glasses and select on it using the wow mouse pro and you can identify any of these pieces super cool way to use this tech there's too many wines to choose from you're looking around you're looking around oh what do i have here let's see what this one looks like and there we are right into vivino and boom now I know all the ratings and characteristics of the wine, all while just wearing the glasses and browsing around. To take advantage of the new features with the Xro Eye, you want to be on version 1.1 for the 1 or 1 Pro glasses. You need capture with glasses beta and default air casting on. You can switch between landscape or portrait for what the Xro Eye is outputting. For apps like Google Lens and Vivino, you'll want to use Portrait Landscape for like say ChatGPT and stuff like that. So that's how you set that up. And then we are able to go into your app and see what that looks like. There you are. To utilize Wow Mouse, where you can control the Beam Pro with this mouse that allows you to click to select things, you want to add the Beam Pro as a device to connect to. So we are now connected. Turn the mouse on. And the recommended settings I have are for tip left click mod backspace. So this is if I click like this, 
it's able to go backwards in the UI and then double tap I have it as going back to the home screen so we go ahead and, and put this on so with the watch connected I am now able to move around and select apps so there you can see I've opened up Google Lens and I can close it by doing upside down palm tap up so I'm able to move around easily with the within the UI without actually having to look at the Beam Pro. I feel like this fully ties the experience together so that we have a true kind of AR experience where we're not having to look at the screen in our pocket. We're able to completely interact with the UI within the glasses. So yeah, that's very cool. I highly recommend checking out Wow Mouse Pro. You can use it as a Bluetooth mouse with really any device, Mac, Android, Windows. Well, all of this is really cool to see. Unfortunately, there is no integration between AR Core and the Beam Pro. So you can't use apps like Pokemon Go or Google Street Live View. I, of course, think this will change with Android XR and Project Aura XREL is working on. But at the moment, we're just stuck with some camera feeds into apps. And I, it's very cool. Let me know what cool apps you guys are using on the latest update. Comment below, like, and subscribe. And I really hope you all enjoyed this one. See ya.